Welcome back, guys, to Grand Theft Auto V. We're now going to go and kill um, Franklin. Was going to kill Cheng, Mr. Cheng. That's the one. Trevor's former partner, I could say, in business or business partner. That's the one. Well, for you, bitch. Need that. Throw a dent in your car. Like a left here. Ah, oh, that was nice. Bro, I normally hate. I, I knew this would be the last mission. Actually, driving the car, it was set to his bike. The bar. Hey, Lamar, that was above and beyond, homie. Ain't nothing above and beyond when it comes to the homies, homie. <laughs> a nigga just want to be helpful, you heard me? I'm serious, dawg. That's hood. Michael and Trevor, too. We grateful. You a real homie, and I love you, dawg. You too, homie. You done with this bullshit now? Almost. A couple of loose ends. Aw, oh, shit. I know that voice. You creeping on some fools, huh? All right, nigga, what happened? <laughs> You creeping onto fools. Nope, I broke every bone in my body. <laughs> Please phone him back up. Oh, that's a shame. I hate to, that's why I don't like bikes, you like, ruin your dialogue when you crash. Hello? They don't come back, the dialogue doesn't come back now. Oh. You couldn't just continue the conversation when you got off, really. Oh, that was pretty damn good. Kill Mr. Cheng, where the hell is he? Is he all the way at the outbacks? Looking like it, yeah. Shit. Okay, I've got a while to go and I've got nothing to talk about, so I kind of wish that dialogue didn't come. Hmm. Um. Yeah, oh. I shouldn't have done that. Well, you never know. Might have reset the dialogue, hopefully. If it did a decent checkpoint, you're not going to start me right back from the beginning, please. Don't do that. That would be bad. Oh, shit. Oh, even to reset the radio. Piece of crap. Alright. We made our plans. Let's stick to them. We take out our assigned targets. Any deviation will lead to confusion and probably failure. We got one shot at this, guys. All right, let's do this shit. Not good. So Franklin's not Cheng, Michael's not Stretch, and... I think Trevor's not Haynes, and they're still looking for Death Weston, I think. Can you give me a lift? I'm gonna break every bone again. Don't, don't, don't you dare crash in the back of me, you stupid civilian. NPC, I should say. Really? That's right, really speed you up for some strange reason, you know, it should. Especially, it would speed up temporarily, but not much. It would slow you down afterwards quite a bit. So, if we're going to waste all these people, um... So pretty much we're just going to kill everyone who told me to kill someone or just piss everyone off. Let's do it again, piece of shit. Ugh. Phone him, please, phone.
You know, guys, I might just kill myself because I actually just lost a dollar now. You got in the way! There we go. Right, first stop. This time, I'm not going to crash. I'm going to drive. Stop wheeling. Just drive there. You know, just drive. I'm going to try and get that dialogue. No crashing. I might. If I see a fast car, I will replace the bike with the car. I really will, because. Bike's quick and all, but I wouldn't recommend this. Oh god, hold back right. the yawn, that's gonna come out, so. We made our plans, let's stick to them. We take out our assigned targets. Any deviation will lead to confusion and probably failure. We got one shot at this, guys. Here we go. Alright, let's do this shit. I don't like crashing like that, it's like a buffer bike, it's not going to catch that now. That's fine. I can live with above and beyond, homie. Ain't nothing above and beyond when it comes to the homies, homie. <laughs> a nigga just want to be helpful, you heard? I'm serious, dawg. That's hood. Mike on Trevor, too. We great. You a real homie, and I love you, dawg. You too, homie. You done with this bullshit now? Almost. Couple loose ends. Aw, oh, shit. I know that voice. You creeping on some fools, huh? All right, nigga, we'll handle your candle. Lay low, my nigga. Oh, that was it. Okay, I didn't miss much. I thought it was going to, you know, go to that dialogue dodgy fill up the journey, but I guess not. I guess I had no reason to worry about them missing out that dialogue out. Yeah, so I apologize to kill myself in the <laughs> Oh, you bitch! Ah, oh. Some kind of warning about the different kinds of food. Drugs Coffee is bad yeah. for you. You shouldn't eat this. You shouldn't eat that. And people in town, man, they're always lecturing you about what you shouldn't eat. Oh, don't eat this. Don't eat that. When did food become so much drama? And people are so uppity about stuff, man. And also for those out there, you got to be careful going down on a vegetarian, all right? Because they taste like chicken. That's where I was committing suicide. That was up, you know. Really shitty vegetarian commercial thing. No, I don't care. If you're a vegetarian, eat veg. If you're not a vegetarian, eat whatever the fuck you want. If you're a vegan, I don't see the point in you. Because if you can eat fish, I'm pretty sure you can eat everything else as well. Meat, eat every other thing else as well. I'm still messing up somewhere. Eat. Everything else is not. There we go. You can eat fish, you can eat pork, you can eat chicken, you can eat duck. It's all meat. But in the end of the day, nothing pisses me off more than people. What? Mr. Cheng was lost. Why the fuck am I supposed to get there on time then? Matter of fact, where the fuck is he in the first place? Oh, I drove past him. Okay, that's my mistake. Hey! 
The old man's here. He's leaving the beast club. I'm gonna do it now. Ain't gonna have no more triads coming after. We ain't gonna have anyone to sell super weapons to either, but hey ho! Who's up? We still gotta do stretch and agent hates. Take y'all back to 1993 with this joint. I think that was a really nice kill actually. Just blew him up and blew both his men up. I kind of wanted to drop it, but the shotgun just blow his head off, but you know. Missed that, I think. Darn things. I'm moving on Haynes. Les, see if you can patch me into his radio mic. I want a last reminder of what an annoying prick he is. Los Santos. A city of saints. A city of sinners. And nothing in between but the FIB. Cut! God, this is crap! Who writes this bullshit anyway? Okay, all right. You got this frame right? And yeah, he's screaming great. Again. Is the chin? How's the chin? Oh, sharp. All right, the audio's clean? Nice. Uh, well, say something. Uh, check, check, check. Yeah, it's great. Okay, fine. We're on. I'm ready. You ready? Uh, Speed. He's put on the all stairs. right, let's do this, people. I'm a professional. Let's go. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Steve Haynes. A city of celluloids. Right, so my brother's dropping so he can't get what he wants, but you know. Little shit. Head. Damn, I'm so stressed right now. I'll pick it up. Do no, I'll pick it up. I got something. Or something. Ready? Oh. Goodbye, Steve. Oh my god! Guy! That's his name. He shot him! Ah, no one cares about them. Let me down off the fucking stairs, you piece of shit. He's over there! I've jumped at any piece of crap. What a piss take. Of course, big enough to get down the stairs, but it still couldn't fucking go. I really love my car. Cops, I guess. You know? Shit's not a good idea. Run. Hey, good luck, Lester. Coach. I dealt with Haynes. You got a location on Devin Weston yet? Yeah, yeah, I do. Uh, the Merriweather team was dispatched to protect him in his house in the Tongva Hills. Uh, I say house. It's more of a... Yeah, whatever. I'll go up there and get him. So who we got, man? Harold Stretch Joseph. Still outstanding. 
I'm taking care of him. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, sneezing all over again. On the inside, you're all action. Because nothing impresses people like looking the part. I want a lot of impressive sports electronics that look great on my desk, but I never use. Oh, yes, look, he's a stun gun. Please tell me he's on a motorbike. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna stun his ass. Lamar Davis, disrespectful ass motherfuckers trying to break the order of things. I got a message from your homies, Lamar and Franklin. Who's this peck of wood? Oh, destroy you motherfucker! Oh! Deserved the death he got. Slide back now. I got him low. Away from my car, you asshole. Boom. One more somewhere. I'm clear. You're pounced. Stretch? He ain't a problem no more, Frank. See, he wasn't my pal. He was a dude who ganked us, homie. Thanks. So who we got, man? I'm picking up Devin Weston so we can have some fun with him. Now don't worry, I won't get started till we're all together. Not properly, at least. Hmm, nice one. It's torturous soul. Yes. I actually can't wait. Oh my. Do I want to start a new episode? No, I don't. No, I don't. I want to end this now. This is going to be a longer episode, guys. I think more than 20 minutes. This is going to go for about half an hour or something. Actually, if I don't have to fight my way through it, I might just, you know, do it hey, here. Unless you got news from the Foundry team, I don't want to be disturbed. Kidnap Devon. Oh, okay. I'll do it next episode. I'll make this one a little bit like a few seconds short, but hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe if you did, and as always, cheers for watching. Hey kid, do I have your attention? I know the way you've been living. Life's so reckless, tragedy, and this welcome to the family.